Hello, I am Panos Kodzathanasis, and this is ASEAN Movie Pulse interviews. Today I'm here with Salome Kintsutasvili, director of Runaway, which recently screened at Busan International Film Festival, uh, winning the jury award at the international competition. So how do you feel about this success? Did you expect it? Um, to be honest, no, I, I didn't, because... Um... First of all, this is only my like third festival in my life, and uh, uh, it's something unusual happening for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I get there and I watch the movies from my competition, uh, I realize that all the directors and all the films are so high level and. Uh, all of them have their own vision and the different, different uh, like different kind of there was different kind of movies with their own uh, language, and that's why I decided, okay, it's nice that it happened that I come here, but I, I didn't expect it for sure that I will get some prize. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, this is your uh, first movie, right? Am I wrong? Or yeah, this is my first short movie. That it's like my diploma movie. That I I ended my film school and I made it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, tell me a bit. Uh, you you studied in the Moscow School of New Cinema with uh, Dmitry Mamuliya. Tell me a bit. How was your cooperation with him? How was working under him? Um. It's like one of the best, uh, I don't know, life, uh, life uh, events of my life. The fact that I, I entered this uh, university and I, I had this opportunity, this chance to work with uh, Dmitry Mamulie, as you said, because. Um, before uh, I have studied in Moscow State University, it's my first like uh, degree, and then I uh, I used to study in Moscow Univers Moscow Film University for um, production designer, mm -hmm. and then I realized that it was my like lifelong long dream to be a director, but. It was like a dream that I don't know, I even can't touch. <laughs> but after um, ending the production designer, I decided that I want to try. And I was looking for some place for the university that can, uh, all the technical process I already like knew, but uh, I was looking for something, um, something deeper that, that will help me to work on my ideas, uh, on my scripts, to understand how 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 it how it's working from inside, um, and and I find uh, Moscow Moscow School of New Cinema, um, and I felt that it's a it's a right place to be, and um, sometimes you need to listen. To your intuition because it was like 100 percent um, ideal place for me at the time because we were working more about um more about how to say from what what is the consistency of the film not mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, not only like technically you need to put camera here and you need to sh shoot this, I don't know, this um, uh, this thing, um, more about philosophy, of course, and more. And I was studying in film school before. I was studying for um, film um, history before in, uh, in, in, in other university. But when I entered new Moscow New School of Cinema, it was like a new, new I don't know, new world because uh, uh, I realized that I I didn't know all of these names and films that I need to I need to watch. Mm -hmm. So it, it was 
the new era for me. And mm -hmm. then, of course, uh, meeting Mamulia, he he means a lot for me. He's like my sensei uh, <laughs> because um, I trust him absolutely, and uh, and I feel something common with him, like how he is working on uh, on films, on ideas. I I feel pretty the same because uh, mm -hmm. even this short uh, movie, I was working on it like a uh, year and a half around on a script and then one year I was just uh, searching for I'm doing I was doing casting because I was searching for um for my characters like uh, through um uh, untrained actors and um uh, they're not professional actors so it was it it, it took a lot of time to find them mm -hmm. and that's why it was a pleasure to work with him and to have this even opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so the budget for your film was provided by the school and the equipment, or how did that work? Um, I I won. Um, it's a pitching outside pitching where, uh, of our school where um, in the jury there was a lot of different producers and. Uh, um, um jury of different like Kina Tower, Russian. It was a big festival in Russia. And when I won it, like it it it, it was of course helping me a lot because a lot of people start to help and to give me like uh, some techniques and uh, something for free. And uh, for example, um uh, I had a really, really great uh director of photography who was like working with me just because he likes the script and he likes the idea and um but ah and I won some small prize from the school but mostly uh, I was spending my money on on it mm -hmm. and since you mentioned the cinematography tell me a bit about your collaboration with Anton Gromov right yeah. And uh, in general, what you wanted to do in the visual aspect of the movie? Uh, first of all, of course, I was afraid to work with a big cinematographer because uh, I thought that like I'm a beginner and uh, I don't know exactly how it will be because he have already a big... Um, uh, he worked a lot already and... He, and he knew more, of course, and I was afraid that he will be bigger than me in this film. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when I meet him and when we were working uh, on film, uh, of course, all this, uh, all these things was gone. And I realized that uh, I'm really lucky person to work with him. Um, and um, yes, he was helping me a lot because he have like he did already more films than me um but i knew exactly what i wanted and uh, i was always trying to explain him what i want uh, sometimes so i know the idea the feelings that i want in this scene for example but because i don't have a big um 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 how to say sorry experience you want to experience say. yes big experience uh, i i had the problem to to explain exactly what is it and uh, he was trying to understand what i was always asking for him and then in this collaboration we were finding i think um the ideal uh ideal way how to do it because oh. we have uh really difficult uh, scenes the long lasting like for three minutes like the opening scene uh, and it was not easy like by by many reasons first of all to find how to make it uh to to shoot it like to catch the time that start to to last in this Scene, and then to make everything like technically because uh, you need the actor to 
act correctly and uh, you need the car to stop in the correct place and everything must work like excellent so there was some difficult uh, there was some difficulties but i think that together we we did we did it not bad <laughs> so did you fight a lot or <laughs> it sounds like something like that he's such a comfortable he's such a comfortable person that i was sometimes i was thinking anton is thinking that i'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> But he didn't tell me nothing. He was like, okay. So I was changing my mind like many times. And I was sure that if I will tell him again that I want to do it like we decided previously and then I change it, he will kill me. But he was like, okay. So once again, what do you want right now? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, it, he, he is such really very comfortable and talented person. So it was a pleasure to work with him. Okay, okay. And tell me a bit about the story. After reading your biography, it looks like it's based on your own personal experience growing up, at least inspired by. Um, mostly, yes, because, yes, I had a prototype for this place where everything was happening um because when we moved when my family moved in 1994 in russia from georgia uh, because of some political and economical reasons um so i was raised in uh, in the family of immigrants in russia in 90s so it, it was not the easiest time to be there for georgian family and uh, my father, he owned this small cafe on outside of Moscow. And um, and I remembered that it was a place like a magnet for all the people from Georgian diaspora. There were all meetings there. And it was starting from some, I don't know, artists, some uh, people, I don't know, some uh, doctors but ending with some outlaws and some <laughs> even mafia was there and um they have they all of them have nothing in common but only the nationality mm -hmm. and and i remember this uh, this uh, experience and um from there from there i decided to make everything in this small cafe but this story, of course, it never happened, but um, it's more impression, yes, of my childhood. And um, uh, because I remember that always when you are living uh, far from your homeland, you are trying to stay in your community where you feel more comfortable because of the language, because of the culture. And but this community sometimes it's it's really um, there is a lot of different people there, and all of them have something to ask or help or something. And this this was my impression. Mm -hmm. But do you do you identify with one of the two, the brother or the sister, some a bit or I don't know. <laughs> Um, I, I have I have a brother. He's fourteen years younger than me. Uh, but in this film, I think that yeah, I I feel myself more like this boy, because um, um, this like event that happening in in this cafe. It, it it's um. um I was trying to show this uh, fugitive, this runaway criminal, um, not to give him a lot of like personality, not to make to make this character more like something something dark, and to make it like more uh, the event or the occasion that is happening with this family. It's not about the, his personality; it's more about the things that happening, um, because this is. A uh, life event that make that maybe will change uh, the life of this ten year old boy. 
and mostly because of uh, because of this I have to say this mental this is the I think that this is a problem of our uh, Georgian mentality not only Georgian of course but uh, because I was raised in Georgian mentality I, I feel it like like our um, the parents they they are always trying to um, they're always trying not not to speak on some important themes with kids mm -hmm. because they are thinking that it's the best they can do like uh to show that that everything is going is is going well that everything the life is uh life is without problems and in this film the character of father was most important for me because um because of this mentality and culture like men need to always not to lose his face and not to show his problems on or his thoughts or his even if he is scared or if he made the wrong things i don't know he can't show it even for the closest people for him like for his family he always need to show that everything is going is right mm -hmm. and um and and this is the most important uh, impression i think that the boy he need to realize everything by his own and maybe he is making a mistake because no one is helping him to to understand what is going on mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and from from his position from because he he didn't have a big experience of life he's only 10 years old from his position maybe his father is making a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. but and that's why i was trying sorry to show not to stay only with uh, this boy with not only to stay with the main character with this boy but to try to show from the other side, from the father's side as well. Hmm. So in, in the end, why does the father allow the fugitive to stay in their place? Is he forced from the mafia or is it because he's Georgian and wants to help? What is his reason? Because he's putting his family in danger, essentially. Um, I think all together, all together. And this is what I'm thinking about that sometime not only Georgian men it's like I think it's more position of men in 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 uh, in not only in family but outside of family too um he's trying he's trying to be good for everyone he's trying to be good for these people who is asking for for some help he's trying to be good for family he's trying to be good for i don't know for clients of the restaurant uh because he's thinking that he he can't make some mistakes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and of course at the end it is the best it's the biggest mistakes that he did i think but but i'm trying to I'm trying to explain first first when I was writing the script I was sure that the boy is wrong the 10 year boy is wrong and that that I was trying to show that uh, he didn't understand all the whole situation and that's why he made this thing that he called the police and uh, my film is uh, ending on it but I think that uh, <laughs> uh they will start to have they, this family will will have a lot of problems and this boy will have um his life will change after this, mm -hmm. this yes this situation but after when when i already was editing film i i show it to one producer uh and he told me um that he was not sure at the end it was father or it was the boy who called the police. Mm -hmm. And but I was on moment in the uh, I was editing film and I have a change to 
I have a chance to change something and to make it more like exact that this is a boy who called. But I, I realize in this moment that this is true, that um, it's not only mistake from the boy's side. It's a, not only mistake, but it's coming from both of them. So uh, they can share this. They can share this uh, mistakes. They can share these problems. They can share everything that's happened after the film and um so okay and, uh, can you tell me a bit more about the casting you said that there are non-actors but did you have auditions how did that work yeah casting was uh, the most difficult part i think of of, of uh, production because um, it was pandemic and we were mm uh in moscow and uh I, I i can't bring georgian actors to russia and i wanted to film it there because the story was happening in russia and for this moment i was living in russia i was it was important for me for this moment to make the film there and um when i was i start from professional actors that was situated in russia georgians um, but I realize that it's impossible. <laughs> uh, it, it's not good to maybe to say like this, but it was so untrue. It's so it was so fake. I don't know. I don't know why. In this moment, I realized that I need to, I need to work with uh unprofessional actors. I need to find, I need to find people with whose personality is uh, it's similar to my characters um and it was not easy to make <laughs> to do because uh, i was searching uh and my the people the guys who was helping me were searching through the like through the streets in georgian uh, church in georgian restaurant in georgian diaspora uh, in Georgian dance classes so we were just coming there by our own and uh, we're trying to find someone um, and uh, so we spend a lot of time on it but uh, and some some of the actors I found I find through my friends not not a lot of them but the uh, the fugitive it was um it was a person who my friend recommended to me, but he said that I I will give you the number and you can call him and I will try to make like uh, one uh, one meeting to you. I'm sure that he will say no, but he is the one that you need. Mm -hmm. uh, do your best and make something <laughs> um, uh, to like to, to make him say yes. And um, because uh, this man, he, he is not like criminal or something, but his uh, life experience it, it was much similar to my character in the film. And he was not a, an actor at all. He was a businessman and he, a Georgian businessman. And uh, he was like me acting in film. No, it's impossible. But then uh, we find some 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 solutions. So um, some other actors, I I find the father in the church, and he was so. Um, when I'm watching my film, uh, I have of course some. I'm thinking that I can I can make something better. But when I'm looking how this unprofessional actors are acting um i'm always like I, I i can't i can't imagine how they're making it because um even this boy who is like 10 years and of course he's not an actor he is just a boy whom we found him in georgia and we uh, bring him to russia and um 
I was searching for this boy for one year because all of the kids or the, all the Georgian kids in Russia and even in Georgia, they were like sleeping. I don't know. There was, there was no, no life in them. Mm. And, uh, and this uh, character is absolutely opposite. He's, he's so active. He's, he's so, so that's why I was always trying to stay with him closer with camera because uh, I, I I liked how he was showing uh, his emotions. So I found him in Georgia and I asked his mother uh, to make the video, a small video with him. Mm. And when they sent it to me, I opened and I realized that he made it by his own. So he, uh, he asked his mother to go out from the room and he put the phone and he was trying to make everything by his own. Mm. Uh, and in this moment, I realized that this is the guy that I need. <laughs> exactly. A natural and when, born actor then. Yeah. <laughs> and when he, when he came to Russia, because I have no chance to meet him like by, my, by myself because of pandemic. And I saw him uh, walking from airport. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is my boy. This is the boy. <laughs> From my film, it was incredible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, tell me a bit about the scene where there is some tension, where the father pushes him and he has a fight with his sister. Was that difficult to shoot? Yes, it was difficult to shoot <laughs> because um, um, when you're when you're trying to show it like uh, an open way uh to camera it's always not always but in my situation it was fake it, it was not real and uh, that's why in 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 different scenes not only here i was trying to hide something because when you are hiding something and showing just uh just a piece of it uh it start to work and this was the solution that we find to shoot it from this place in uh, that that was separated kitchen with the place where um, where they were giving this uh, plates to the to the restaurant and uh, um, and in this way it's it it started to work. But the boy and this boy, uh, the boy and the girl, uh, so the kids, they were, they were mm, acting well, not acting, but they were arguing uh, by real, <laughs> and it was good. But, um, but anyway, uh, you need to find the way how you will film it, how you will shoot it, mm -hmm. because sometimes the reality is nice. But when camera is on, it's, mm -hmm. it's not working. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, I guess, and the uh, last question, uh, are, what are you working on next? Will there be a feature on the horizon? or? <laughs> yes, I'm working on my feature film. And I started to work on it like one year ago. But um, it's it, it, I'm, I'm working on it in a new way. Not in the new, but it's my like second film. But the first one I was doing like absolutely in different way. I was writing a script and rewriting and making some changes. And I was working a lot with script and uh, with the narrative. And now uh, it was absolutely opposite because I had some feelings mm. and I have some uh some scenes or even some it's not even the scenes like like pictures like um like um some things that i i know that i want to uh capture but i don't know exactly the narrative of the of this idea and i was um searching that this film is happening in um uh, um high mountain um high mountain village in georgia small village that is difficult to get there 
and um, there is a lot of regions in Georgia for five similar to that and I was um, and last year I spent to visit all these places to find out how people are living there and how because the life in high mountain uh, village is different even from the regular village because they have the difficulties with like uh, electricity, with water, with even cars, because uh, um, it's it's really difficult to get there. So I was searching, and uh, during this time I was uh, working on script as well. So I'm exploring, uh, and and the main character in my film she is exploring as well. She's she's. She is searching for something. She, she is searching for some answers. And I'm trying to follow her. Mm. And, uh, yeah. And now I, I think that I'm ready already to start writing the script. Because before I was just thinking how it can be about what and what's happening with her. Because I know the only thing that she is, she is searching for something in mountains. And uh, now I know for what she is looking for. And I think that I'm ready to write the script. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for thank being you. here. I hope both you and your, your protagonist find the answer to your what you're searching <laughs> for. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. I'm close. Okay, great. Thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure. It was, the pleasure was all mine. From Panos Kotsafanasis and Salome Kitsurasvili, this was Azan Vipal's interviews. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.